Well, if you are in the Italian Dolomites, we'll tell you it has been a rather dreary day here in the Jefferson City area. With rain throughout uh, most of the late morning and early afternoon, the skies have cleared momentarily, but there's still a little bit of a sprinkle that blows through every now and again. It is a chilly night. We'll have temperatures in the upper 50s to mid 50s as this game goes along. The Blair Oaks Falcons are on the field. They're wearing their all green. The Boonville Pirates in their white with the royal blue and the royal blue blue pants, the blue helmets with the silver decals. The officials have thrown the <laughs> coin and what do we have, Ed? <laughs> yeah, they threw it. They said enough of it. No, the Falcons won the toss and elected to receive and they will be starting going from left to right tonight. And uh, so the Falcons all decked out in green tonight, facing off against the Boonville Pirates with the white jerseys, as Dick said, with the blue helmets, the blue pants. But first, here's the kickoff, Dick Aldridge. Brenner Parker, a high short kick, and it's taken by one of the up men for the Falcons, and they'll get good field position as Adam Hall stumbles out across the 45 to about the 47-yard line, and that's where the Falcons will take over, first down and 10. Dylan Hare needs 34 yards to tie the, his brother's record, his brother Nolan's record for passing career yards here. And on first down, swing pass right side. Klosser makes a nice catch, and he runs down the sidelines, and he may get that 34-yard yeah. He stepped out of bounds. Let's see where they're going to mark him. They will mark him down at the 24-yard line. So there's 26, 27, 28 yards. On first down, Klosser in motion. Harris going to keep it himself up the middle. He breaks through one tackle, keeps his feet. He spins inside the 10, and he is finally wrestled to the ground. Not yet. <laughs> I don't think they ever got him down. They finally stopped his forward motion inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. From the 9-yard line, first down and goal to go. And Hare rolling to his right, going to keep it himself. He turns the corner. He cuts towards the end zone, puts his head down. Touchdown, Falcons. There you go. Dylan Hare smashing across the goal line from nine yards out, and the Falcons are on the scoreboard with less than a minute into the ball game. They lead it six to nothing. Well, he hit that field goal from 26 last week so in California, so we know he can hit it. High, long, and it is good. 11.02 to play, first quarter. Blair Oaks 7. And Boonville, nothing at MidnoSportsOnline.com. We will return to the Falcon Athletic Complex in Wardsville after this timeout. And they will mark it on the 19, I guess. So it'll be first down and goal, and first down and 10 for Boonville from the 19 yard line. Now you will see. <laughs> This young man, Caton, he will keep the ball up the middle a lot. And on first down, he keeps it himself, and he didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. The Falcons are right there. They were ready for him. As it was uh, Bryson Varner, among others, on the tackle of Caton, who loses two yards on the play. And on second down, they hand off to the back, and he gets stood up and dropped hard on the ground for about a two-yard gain. And uh, for the first carry of the night, let's see. That looks like that's number uh, eight. And uh, that will be Rhodes Leonard, the junior. Boonville has actually thrown for more yardage than they have run for this year. So Caton can throw the football. Leonard is in the wing to the right. Here comes the receivers either side. Here comes the blitz. Caton rolling to his right throws. Has a man out in space, but he dropped the football. He ran at about the 25-yard line. It was in and out of the hands of Ross Brackman. And... Uh, well, he would not have gotten the first down anyways. That's Klosser in motion on second down. They hand off to Lackman. Big hole up the middle. There goes Hayden Lackman into the secondary. He runs over a man as he gets inside the 35, down to the 32-yard line. Give him the 13-yard gain and a first down. Lackman only knows one way, straight ahead. There's no wiggle in that game. No. And he's only a freshman, folks. Will they get to the other running back back? As Hare goes back to pass, quarterback draw. Hare's looking for some running room. As oh. he turns it to the outside, makes a man miss, and here he goes. He breaks it to the sideline. It's the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Falcons! Oh, my, my! There's another one for the highlight reel. <laughs> 32 yards. I'll tell you what, it, after that run, not only should colleges be calling, they said what the stars ought to be calling. <laughs> oh, baby. I don't know how he found his way through all that mess, but he got into the end zone for the touchdown, and the Falcons are out to a 13-0 lead, and we've barely played four minutes in this ball game. 
Snap is back. The ball is down. Laughlin kicked it high long, and it is good. 8.43 to go. Quarter number one. Blair Oaks 14. Boonville nothing on MidnoSportsOnline.com. We will return to the Falcon Athletic Complex after this timeout. On first down, Caton's going to keep it himself off play action. He's dancing around, and the Falcons have him down. Falcons are staying at home very nicely tonight as Caton has not been able to find any room. Jackson Marshall, the big defensive end, six foot four, 240 pounds, makes the tackle for the Falcons. As they put the play in, three receivers wide to the left side, single receiver right. As Caton takes the snap, just going to run to the left, and the Falcons are going to nail him back near the original line of scrimmage. He's going to lose a couple of yards on the play. That's going to be a third and nine. Leading the tacklers for the Falcons, Carson Lubrin. That's Hall in motion, and Hall gets it. He bounces it to the outside. Around the corner he goes. He's Look got the first down and more down the oh. sidelines. Breaks a tackle. Adam Hall is loose to the 25. Breaks another tackle. 20-10-5. Touchdown, Falcons. Adam Hall danced down that sideline. He almost got pushed out, but he kept his feet in. 68 yards for the touchdown. 5.38 to go. Quarter number one. Blair Ridge 21. Boom, do nothing. And get him back into this game. Six carries, eight yards now for Kobe Caton. Second down, four. Caton's going to keep it again. Oh, he's hit in the backfield and wrapped up. And Bryson Varner wrestles him to the ground. Varner was the first man there. And then he also got help on the play from the middle linebacker for the Falcons, Brady Kirkland. Double wing formation. Caton by himself in the backfield. Here comes a blitz from the Falcons. Caton trying to get out to the right side. He's not going to get there. Brady Kirkland right yes. from behind. And the penalty flag comes in flag late. On the play. I'm not sure what this is. Todd Lukanoff saw something late and a hold coming against Boonville. Yeah. Empty backfield. Lackman in motion again. He fakes the handoff to Lackman. And Hare's going to go deep down the middle this time. Got him. The print has got it. Break the tackle. 20, 15, 10. from me on that one. I'm going to go get it again. 48 yards that time for the touchdown. And the first touchdown catch of the season for Zach, or second touchdown of the season for Zach Pryor. So now he breaks the record. He's now the all-time leading passer in Blair Oaks Falcons history. Blair Oaks 28, Boonville 6 on MidmoSportsOnline.com. We will return on first down here, quickly to the right side, has a man, it's Weberg. Weberg turns, puts his head down, breaks the tackle, he's in the clear, 15, 10, 5, and did he get in? Right. Touchdown, Falcons! We didn't know if he was out of bounds or not, he skirted it down the sidelines, kept his feet in bounds, and the Falcons are back on the scoreboard. A 36-yard touchdown pass from Hare to Weberg, and it's 34 to 6. Alec Weberg into the end zone, the senior receiver. Snap back, ball down. Laughlin kicks it long, and it is good with the fireworks exploding. 8.51 to go, second quarter. Blair Oaks 35, Boonville 6 on MidmoSportsOnline.com. Caton with an empty backfield. Goes back to pass. Here comes the blitz. Caton throws it down the field. It's intercepted. Intercepted by the Falcons. It's Weeberg coming back with it across the field. The 25 dives forward to the 27. And that's where the Falcons will take over. First down and 10. To go into the end zone here and maybe have a running clock in the second half. Back to pass, quickly, out to the near side, Klosser, Klosser has room, breaks a tackle, 35-40, 45-50, and pulled down inside, doing the territory at the 46-yard line. Lackman behind Hare on third down. Hall goes in motion out to the right. As Hare hands to Lackman this time, there, there it goes Hayden, he's in the secondary, he gets spun around and knocked down inside the 10 at the seven-yard line, good enough for the first down. First down, goal to go from the seven yard line. Lackman behind Hare, gets it on the delay. Lackman does inside the five, runs over a man at the goal line, and he is down short before it'll be second down. Lackman really buried somebody right at the goal line. Yeah, he said he was short. The second quarter, Osage is up 20 to 10 over the California Pintos. So it's second down and goal to go from inside the one yard line for the Blue Oaks Falcons as they get ready to punch it in here again as Hare is in the shotgun with Lackman behind him. On second down, as Hare hands off, Lackman in over left guard and tackle, and he burrows his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. Out of the hole to Klosser. 
Snap back, ball down. The kick is up. It's high, it's long, and it got inside the upright. 4.39 to play second quarter. Blair Oaks 42. Boonville 6 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. On first down from the 34-yard the line, they handed to Rhodes Leonard, and Parker Bennett was waiting for him in the backfield. He was quickly shut down. Bennett said, bring it on here. And he did, and Bryson Varner and Parker Bennett made the tackle for the Falcons in a loss of a yard on the play. That kills the first half, and the Blair Oaks Falcons will go to the locker room. A dominant 42 to 13 lead over the Boonville Pirates. Midno Sports Online continuing coverage of high school football. We'll return to the Falcon Athletic Complex in Wardsville after this timeout. Five on the play clock as they hand off to Leonard, and Leonard is hit in the backfield, pushes forward, maybe got back to the line of scrimmage, but not Rose much more Leonard than that. Bryson Varner was the first man on the tackle there for the Falcons. Bryson Parker Parker on, the stop for the on second down here with the toss to Lackman around the near side. Has blockers up to the sideline, 25-30. And got across the 35 to about the 36-yard line. 12 yards and a first down by Hayden Lackman. Laying people out. With that we're in his Ed wore his fuzzy Thurston earlier this year. Here's a slant pin down the middle. Weaver's open. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Falcons. Alec Weaverg. Well, 64 yards for the touchdown. Well, that's the thing. You run the ball, you run the ball, and sooner or later, Dylan here says, this is too slow. <laughs> I'm going to throw a pass, and we're going to just score and get it over with. That's a long run, guys. 6.58 to go, third quarter. Blair Oaks 49, Boonville 13 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We return to the Falcon Athletic Complex in Wardsville after this timeout. In motion comes Johns. He's trying to come to the near side. The Falcons are chasing, and Johns will go to the sidelines and be pushed out of bounds. A nice job of stringing that out all the way across by the Falcon defense. Brady Kirpern on the tackle there for the Falcons, but Varner and Pringer, among others, were over there on the side just waiting for Johns to cut it up, and Johns never could cut it up and loses a yard of the play. Caton wants to draw the Falcons off. Now it looks at the sidelines, and that will do it for the third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books here in Wardsville. Blair Oaks Falcons leading the Boonville Pirates by the score of 49 to 13. Midmo Sports Online continuing coverage of high school football. We'll continue after this timeout. Hall tight to the left side as they hand off to Lackman. Lackman looking for a hole, pushes his way through, gets out across the 30, and he's going to be very really close to the first down, out close to, out close to the 35-yard line, and it is enough for the first down. 10-yard gain for Hayden Lackman. Hall shifts over to the right side as Bax takes the hand, takes the snap and hands off to Lackman. Oh, he ran over a man right at the 30, or at the 45-yard line. Surges to the 42. Man, you love the way this kid runs. You're going to have to start calling Lackman uh, Mac because he trucks people. <laughs> he just ran, a, ran over a man. About three. Closer in motion. They hand to Lackman. He's got the first down and more. Over 100 yards for the first time in his career. And he goes inside the 30, down to the 26 yard. Line. Now here comes the wholesale change for the Falcons. 14 yards for Lackman. As I said, he goes over 100 yards rushing for the first time in his career. 15 carries, 111 yards. He'll check out. Back stays in. Kliegel comes in at the running back position. And on first down, Ooh. Bax pulls it out. Nice play by the quarterback to the 20 to the 15. And he's pulled out of bounds. Well, almost to the track over at the 10-yard line. He made a split decision as Kliegel was hit almost in the backfield. And on second down, they hand off. There goes Kliegel. And Kliegel runs it inside the 10 to about the 7-yard line. Four-yard gain. Dylan My Dylan Kliegel, the sophomore, 5'10", 160 pounds. Nice run right up, the, right up the gut. So let's see what he is able to do here. Snap back, ball down. The kick is up. It's high. It's long, and it is good. 5.25 to play, fourth quarter. Blair Oaks, 52. And Boonville, 13. On MidmostSportsOnline.com, we'll come back to the Falcon Athletic Complex in Wardsville after this timeout. Well, the uh, clock is running down, the game clock and the scoreboard clock are running down, the play clock, and it is going to just run out as uh, both come to the end 
of our football game. The final score of the Blair Oaks Falcons. Go to 5-0 and this season. They beat the Boonville Pirates here in Wartsville tonight by the final score of 52-13.